to part two of my uh, kit voice box project. In this part I'll show you the software that I've designed using Microsoft Visual Basics uh, which can combine to the voice box I showed you in part one to make them more compatible and make it more realistic. I've seen a lot of people use speech recognition for theirs but they've used actual Windows speech emulators if you would like so it doesn't actually sound the same as kit but where have I used actual clips from the TV show um, I'll just start this one up here okay it combines flash as well so I'll just start it Okay, there you can see is the beginning of it, and you can see you've got the run program, quit program, and about pro and about the program. Um, these are all com combined using Flash, but I'll actually show you the main program now. Okay, so if I go to run program. Takes a while to load. Now what I've done now is because they've all gone red, I've made him stop listening so now I can speak to you and he won't recognise a word I'm saying. Um, but when I switch him back on, I'll uh, get him to do some random things for you. Um, you can either speak to him or you can actually click on the buttons themselves to get him to to get him to actually say what you want him to, so... Doesn't he ever give up? Or... All systems go, Michael. As you can see. Okay. Kit, reactivate. Kit, introduce yourself. I am the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor. K-I-T-T -T for easy reference. A kit if you prefer. And just to show you that I'm not using any of my hands. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> there they are. Just to make sure I'm not using any of them, I'll try it again. Kit, I need you. I'm on my way. Where's he off to? Doesn't he ever give up? Kit, scan the area. Michael, I'm picking up a transmission in a highly stylized dialect of the English language. Micro jam it. Kit, give me your technical information. I am the Night Industries 2000. My serial number is Alpha Delta 227529. I am unauthorized to allow access to my central processing unit. Kit, where are you? I'm right here, Michael. I'm back. Thank goodness. I thought I'd never see you again. Hi, Kit. Are you all right? I took the liberty of scanning your vital signs. Your blood pressure is 190 over 120 and your pulse is 104. Uh, what I'll show you next now is the actual voice box combined with this software to give you sort of a look into what it looks like after it's all completed. Um, so bear with now me. you can see in front of you is the prototype voice box um, that you should have seen in the first part of my product project video okay um, what I've basically done is hooked the mp3 player cable instead of having it to the mp3 I'm having it plugged to the laptop instead um, obviously I've got the audio amplifier so you can still hear what's going on um, I've set the sound up it should be okay now so what we're going to try is we're going to try to get him to say one random thing so now I'll just pick one at random. Are you ready? All systems go, Michael. You can see it displays on there quite nicely. The unfortunately the speaker is a bit tinny, so it is sometimes hard to hear. But um, hopefully in part four you'll see the finished design. Um, this is where the speaker I won't actually have this one. I'll have a lot smaller one, the same power, um, and it'll also obviously be encased in a box so it amplifies the sound even more and makes it more have more bass so it's going to sound better um, 
I'm going to try again just to give you another gist of it. Um, okay, give me your technical information. Just zoom in for you just a second. Bear with me a minute. Just zoom in as close as I can to the voice box. So you can actually see what's going on. Okay. There you go. You'll be able to see that quite nicely, shouldn't you? I'll just focus that up for you a bit more. There you go. Okay, we'll try that again. Uh, let's see. Um, do you want to listen to some music? Not now, Michael. I have a headache. See, he has a sense of humour as well. But um, well, that basically sums up the software that I've created. Um, oh, one thing I didn't tell you about in the software is it has an automatic response system. So when the screen is red like this and he's not listening, you can actually set him so he says a random phrase from time to time. Um, by default it's switched off but um, this program is now at version 5 and probably set to increase again so but you get the rough idea of it so part 3 you will see is the actual sort of manufacture of it if you like um, putting all the components on PCB and um, actually testing out from there then okay so um, I'll see you in part 3 um, the PCB I have been has been done out. Um, fits nicely. All I got to do now is drill the holes, and then we should be ready for part three. So you might have to wait a few more days yet until I uh, get around to doing that because I've just got to order the parts in for it um, and get the labels done for the for the actual LEDs themselves. I'm right here, Michael. See, that's why you've always got to try and make sure that you actually. Shut, shut him off before you start speaking. Okay, so um, right, I'll see you in part three. Thank you. Uh, the other.